told me we'd be playing golf on our honeymoon, I'd have kept your engagement ring in my pocket. We're not playing golf on our honeymoon. No, we're not? What's this? Hey, I gave you one longer than this one, too. Sure, go ahead, pick it up. I have a secret wish to lose. Like, you want to stay out of the spotlight. Speak for yourself. I wonder why I'm not clutch. It haunts me. But do you see what I'm saying about kindness? Uh, well, yeah, I suppose. Please, it's everywhere. The word courtesy appears in the opening paragraph. Burton does not blame the English buses for being late to the dental appointment, though they were the reason. Six! What do you got in your mind? Come on! Come on! Come on! 20 bucks is on the line here. Alright, he's right. I'll punt it. Forget it. These guys are breathing down our necks. It's pathetic. I am a coward. We all are. We don't want our putts to matter. We can go for weeks without sinking a single putt. I've never played this stupid game, never wanted to. Never saw any percentage in it. Golf is really coming on. It's no longer a rich man's game. Golfers aren't my kind of guys. No golfer ever read coffee. You don't have guys. You told me so yourself. You don't do guys. John, if I am such a high-powered intellect in your mind, why do I always come across like the little housewife in your books? Why is that, John? That's not fair. And it's solipsistic, if I might say so. Oh, please, don't play the My books are not by a background. Bullshit with me. I know where our bodies are buried. Oh, when I get that old and come here to play golf, do me a favor, guys. What's that? Shoot me. Take me to the woods over there and put a bullet through my head. How about if we just drown you in the pond on, on the 11th? Yeah, and so. Alright, I actually don't carry too much to the flag on my ass on 18. As long as you do me in. It's funny how shots like my miss hit drive back there. On the TV community, we're hot with my buddies. I can see that. I mean, we have such fun sharing each other's miseries. A weak grounder in baseball or a flub tennis ball it doesn't engender much worth. But with golf, something about the tiny little ball and the vastness of expanses on the green and the woods of working can get us all dizzy with laughter. <laughs> I owe John an eternal debt of gratitude for writing couples. For as I sat in my hammock this summer and read, the, the smoke was lifted from my eyes. I came to see you're all fallen, fallen angels. A character says that the most wonderful thing in the universe is the human capacity for self-deception. It keeps everything else going. That is so brilliant. And then it hit me. I've been deceiving myself. For years I've been telling myself that I am a nice person and that I want to be viewed as nice by my peers. I want above all else to be a good person, but now I know that I'm, that's not what I'm all about. No, I vow I've never live my life with blinders. Blinders? I'm gonna keep looking at her face, day after day, week after week, year after year, and record what sorrows I brought my wife. Record my guilt and my emotional and ethical failings. I'm going to let the whole nation know in my story because I will never write novels again how I've strayed from God's chosen path. John, this is the 21st century. Come on, for God's sake. Nietzsche's been dead for 150 years. No one, no one in New York City is going to come see a play where adultery is a sin. Please. Like the golf course itself, golf camaraderie is an artifice, crafted in the nature, in the vastness of nature. It asks for only five or six hours a week, from the jocular greetings in the noontime parking lot and the parallel dawning of cleats in the lava room, to the shouting goodbyes and in the dusk as the flag sticks past their long shadows. On the golf course, I am not a breadwinner, I am not a father, I am not a husband, I am my golfing self. 
who waits on me with open arms and every single time I show up to the tea. And I, my friend, am a golf widow. Within this family, irritation, jealousies, and even spats do occur, but they're mercifully dulled and dampened by the necessary distances of the game, the traditional reticence and mannerliness of sportsmen, and the thought that it will all be over soon. I don't care, this isn't about our brain. Besides, we're misreading the scene. I mean, look at that. The one on your left, that's not Mary. That's an actress playing Mary, playing a role. She's kind of a bad actress to boot, and a real bitch off stage. I tried to borrow five dollars off of her for Starbucks. She wouldn't do it. As in marriage, there is sharing. We search for one, one another's lost balls. We comment helpfully upon each other's defective swings. And we march, more or less, in the same direction. We come together, like couples at breakfast and dinner, on the tees and on the greens. <laughs>